Both rejoin EU. Both rejoin EU. <laughs> Hello, I'm Brendan Donnelly. I'm the leader of the Rejoin EU party. And I'd like to offer some comments on Keir Starmer's visit to Berlin earlier in this week. When David Davis became Brexit secretary in 2016, he said that the primary target of his negotiating effort was not going to be Brussels or the European institutions, but national capitals such as Berlin, Paris and Rome. Uh, he thought that was where the decisions were taken for the European Union. Well, that didn't work out particularly well. He found himself humiliatingly um, having to be outsmarted and outnegotiated by the commission as represented by Michel Barnier. There's an echo of that in what Keir Starmer has been doing over the past couple of days. The thought that somehow in relations with the EU uh, can be improved and mitigated significantly by having better bilateral relations with national capitals. And that seems to have been the, the thinking um, behind the love fest that took place in Berlin over the past couple of days. Interestingly, in the final declaration after the negotiations, um, there was a sentence that hasn't been much discussed in the British press, which said that any future agreement between Germany and the United Kingdom must fully reflect the fact that Germany was a member of the European Union and the United Kingdom wasn't. The United Kingdom remains a third country and it will be a third country until it takes decisions which bring it closer into the workings of the European Union. And those workings are not simply confined to national capitals. We've had over the past um, six weeks from Keir Starmer's government uh, a lot of complaints about the economic dishonesty of his predecessors. And there's a lot of truth in that. But I'm afraid that there's a parallel dishonesty which Keir Starmer and his colleagues are engaging in, which is not to talk about Brexit and the economic damage it's doing. We're told that we're going to have a, a difficult, uh, an unpleasant budget in, in October. That budget could be much, much less unpleasant if the Labour government were to face down its um, Eurosceptic enemies um, and say there is no reason in, in logic, in politics, in morality um, or economics why we shouldn't attempt genuinely to get nearer to the European Union perhaps by joining the customs union, perhaps by joining the single market or trying to join the single market, or ideally by going back into the European Union itself. As long as that question is not even addressed by, by um, Keir Starmer um, and his colleagues, he won't be in a position to accuse the Conservative Party of economic dishonesty. Uh, he will have been meeting the economic dishonesty of the Conservative Party with another set of economically dishonest propositions of his own. Uh, economics and politics in our country can only get back into kilter once we're back in the European Union. Um, and the sooner people start realising that, both at a political and public letter level, the better. Be part of the movement. Vote to rejoin EU. Join the EU vision.